Hey guys, welcome back to Unstop Biology. So guys, in today's video, we are going to start off with a new chapter, which is chapter 16 of class 11th. And we have to study what? So basically, we are starting off with human physiology. And the first chapter in this unit is digestion and absorption right so guys before we start off with the video if you are new to the channel and if you have not subscribed to the channel yet yet please do subscribe to it and press the bell icon to get all the updates all the notifications and yes if you are able to understand the videos please do like it and share it with all your friends so guys when it comes to absorption digestion and absorption the first thing that comes in our mind is food and what exactly is food? Basically, food is considered as one of the basic requirements. And this basic requirement is for all living organisms, basically, right? Right. And why it is considered as one of the basic requirements? Because we have various components in our food which are required for growth and repair. Right? So this component of food may be carbohydrate, it may be proteins or fats. Now apart from this there is also requirement of vitamins or minerals. So they are also considered as part of food itself. Right? And apart from this, now it also contains water, which is also important for various metabolic processes and it prevents from dehydration of the body, right? Now, what happens is when we talk about food, basically we say that there are macromolecules in our food. The intake of food is nothing but intake of macromolecules, and these macromolecules cannot be directly used by the body in their original form basically right so they cannot be used directly right so what is to be done these ma macro molecules are broken down and they are converted into simpler substances in the digestive system so basically now what is the definition of digestion it is nothing but of the process of conversion of complex food substances into simple absorbable forms right so basically we'll write the definition of digestion first let's write the definition first digestion So it is process of conversion of complex food substances to simple absorbable form right and this complete digestion is carried out in our digestive system so basically now if we talk about the human digestive system right this digestive system consists of two things human digestive system It consists of alimentary canal and then there are digestive glands associated with this. Right? So the entire human digestive system consists of alimentary canal and associated glands, associated digestive glands. What we are going to start with is the alimentary canal. Now if you see the diagram here as well guys. 
if you see the diagram here and if you have to label all of these parts you will under what we will understand what exactly the human digestive system is so basically it starts off with the oral cavity and the oral cavity starts with the mouth so this is the mouth right and this entire thing is the oral cavity right then you have some glands in the oral cavity so the first one here nearby the ear is parotid gland then towards the jaw you have submaxillary and sublingual gland then you have mouth which goes into the esophagus the esophagus joins with the stomach the stomach ends at duodenum then you have jejunum so all of this is part of the large intestine right here you have the colon so small intestine you have the transverse colon you have the ascending colon ileum cecum here is the descending colon this is known as the sigmoid colon and it ends at anus and this this exactly so this is the sigmoid colon this is rectum and then you have various other organs as well which is associated so here you have pancreas this is the this small organ this one is the gall bladder and this is liver right here at the end there is a vestigial organ as well which is known as vermiform appendix it is of no use now and that is why it is known as the vestigial organ so this is the entire human digestive system now basically we'll understand what exactly now the alimentary canal is so we say that the alimentary canal begins with the anterior opening which is the mouth so this mouth is the beginning of the alimentary canal it opens out posteriorly through the anus right so basically the canal starting from the mouth and ending at the anus is the entire alimentary canal we will study some of the parts of alimentary canal today and then some in the next video as well so today what we are going to do is we are going to cover the oral cavity first let me just clear the screen quickly yes now basically what happens is as i said it starts with the mouth so this mouth leads to the buccal cavity buccal cavity or it is also known as oral cavity now oral cavity has a lot of things oral cavity has has a number of teeth it has a muscular tongue right so it has a lot of different things now again this this you know group of teeth or number of teeth or if i single it out each tooth is embedded in a socket and this socket is made up of bone and this bone is known as jaw bone so basically all of our teeth is basically joined right 
and it is embedded inside something and this from there it is basically the tooth so basically if we have any kind of infection you would notice that we have toothache so that is because we have various nerves connected from the other end right where it is embedded exactly so the tooth is embedded in a socket of jaw bone and this type of attachment of tooth to a jaw bone is known as thecodont and that is why we say that we humans have thecodont kind of attachment so this attachment is basically embedded tooth embedded in a socket of jaw bone okay now majority of mammals right if you if you talk about mammals itself not just human beings majority of mammals including human beings form two set of teeth during their life right so we also have two set of teeth right one set is when we are born right after some after a few months we start getting our teeth and then it falls off and we get a permanent set of teeth right so basically a set of temporary uh, milk teeth and that milk teeth is replaced by a set of permanent or adult teeth right so humans and a lot other mammals they have two types of teeth during their lifetime one is the temporary milk teeth and the other one is the permanent adult teeth and this kind of dentition is known as what this kind of dentition is known as diphyodont right now let's go to the other point now if we talk about an adult human an adult human has 32 remember 32 permanent teeth so we have 32 permanent teeth and these teeth are basically divided into four types you can see the types here so we have incisors we have canines we have premolars and we have molars incisors are denoted by i canine by c premolars by pm and molars by m now the arrangement let's talk about the arrangement of teeth so basically we'll divide the teeth the entire set of teeth into two half first the upper jaw and the lower jaw and then again both the upper and lower jaw will be divided into half right and if we talk about the arrangement of teeth in each half right remember arrangement of teeth in each half of the upper and lower jaw it will be in the order of i then c then premolar which is pm and then molar and if you derive a dental formula it is basically 2 1 2 3 2 for the upper jaw half of the upper jaw and then 2 1 2 3 2 for again half of the lower jaw right now guys we have a coating as well so the outer surface the chewing surface of the teeth is made up of enamel remember it is made up of enamel right and that is why we say basically it helps in mastication of food now apart from that guys the tongue which is muscular by nature which is known as a muscular organ it is attached to the floor of the oral cavity but it is freely movable so basically it is attached by a very small a very small piece and this piece is known as frenulum from the lower surface from the floor of the or oral cavity it is joined by the frenulum and the upper surface of tongue is completely free and it has small projections it has small projections these projections are known as papillae and these papillae have what taste buds right 
so the different kind of taste that we get from the food is because of this taste bud so guys this is all about the oral cavity right which includes the tongue the muscular tongue and the set of teeth so i hope you would have understood the oral cavity in case of human digestive system in case of humans right in case of our elementary canal it is a it is the first part of the elementary canal right so if you have any doubt guys please do not hesitate in asking your doubts you can ask your doubts over the comments on the video and if you did understand the video please do like it and share it with all your friends and yes if you are new to the channel please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get all the updates thanks for watching the video guys see you in the next one till then take care bye bye